Dr. Mindy here, and welcome to our Winter Immunity Fast Training Week. So if this is new information for you, go back and watch the video that I did on the immune system and fasting and why all this week I am bringing you really sound information on how to build your immune system through fasting and through eating. So on this video, I wanna talk about foods you can eat, especially foods that are high in certain vitamins that will support your immune system and pair really well with your fasting. Um, you're gonna hear me say this over and over again, fasting heals and food heals. We're meant to go in and out of these two states. And what we see here on my YouTube channel, what we see in our Resetter community is that Many people are coming to a fasting lifestyle already depleted. They don't have enough vitamins, they don't have enough minerals, amino acids. So this week, we're gonna talk about how we can use food to build up our reserves and get our vitamins working for us, especially when it comes to the immune system. And by the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe and share this video out. I am trying to give you the power back by understanding the concepts around on fasting and this week you're gonna see that I have a lot to say on the topic of food. So here we go. Key vitamins for the immune system. Okay, I'm just gonna list them out and then stick with me as I go through exactly what foods you wanna lean into. So vitamin A, B6, B12, C, D, and E. These are the top vitamins that we need to keep our immune system strong. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna say, well, what about zinc and all that? We're, we're gonna do that on another video. But today, we're gonna start with the foods that we need, and that the vitamins that we need to be able to keep a strong immune system uh, working at all times, especially right now. So vitamin A, I want you to think about gut immunity. Vitamin A is often overlooked with the immune system, but you need vitamin A to nourish the mucosal lining of the gut. Now, what foods is, does vitamin A, or where will you find vitamin A? Now, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I love charts. I've created a lot of resources, free resources for you guys. So this Fast Training Week, I have a companion guide once again, and, in, and it's free. In this companion guide, not only am I talking about like the schedule of what we're doing, but here we go. I got a list of the foods for you. I'm gonna uh, list them off in a very like quick way, but if you want this companion guide, just put companion guide in the resources or in your comments and I'll make sure that you get a link. And again, it's all free. Vitamin A, we need it for the gut. 80% of your immune system's in your gut. We need vitamin A to keep the gut healthy. Here are the foods you're gonna want to lean into when you eat today. So this is after your fast. You're gonna wanna lean into your squashes, like butternut squash, sweet potatoes, carrots, uh, spinach, broccoli, kale, even egg yolks, liver. If you like liver, uh, you know, those of you who followed Paul Saladino, if you love liver, vitamin A is, is gonna be your, your thing. Now, but vitamin B6 is really important for antibody production. This is what we all want right now, right? We want, we, if we come in contact with the virus of any kind, we want the antibodies to it. So you gotta have vitamin B6 to be able to get those antibodies. And B6 is found in a lot of our meats. So turkey, grass-fed beef. Um, you can also find it in things like pistachios and avocados. So again, we created a list for you. Vitamin B12. So B12 is really interesting because it is necessary to carry oxygen through in a red blood cell through your system. Now with this particular virus, one of the challenges that we are finding, as many of you know, is that it's affecting the respiratory system. So you want oxygen to be going to every cell in your body and B12 can help you with that. You can find B12, again, we're back at beef liver, if you like it, sardines, lamb, wild-caught salmon, grass-fed beef, and eggs. So B12, you'll see that that list was mostly meats and proteins. So you're going to need to lean into more of those if you wanna get oxygen delivered throughout the system. 
Okay, vitamin C, we love vitamin C. Vitamin C is known for pathogen killing. This is why so many people are going to get vitamin C drips. A lot of people are upping their vitamin C right now because this is specific for killing pathogens like COVID-19, but also other pathogens, flu viruses, bacteria. Vitamin C is also really important for your B and T cell production. That's your army that goes out and fights viruses. So we need vitamin C. Okay, now we're keto, right? We like to keep our blood sugar down. We don't want to go off into a lot of fruit. So this is not the time to start drinking a, a glass of orange juice. Vitamin C, you're going to find in things like bell peppers. You can find it in broccoli and Brussels sprouts, to, uh, tomatoes. And yes, of course, fruits like kiwi, oranges, and mangoes. And what we're gonna, what I recommend for you guys today, if you know you need more vitamin C, again, we're gonna fast. We're fasting 13 to 15 hours. And then when you go to eat, you're gonna lean into more vitamin rich foods. If you're not fully keto and you wanna lean into more mangoes and oranges, you can. That's definitely open to you. Um, and the purpose of today in our fast training week is using the principles of fasting to heal us, but also then leaning into vitamin rich foods that heal us too. And some of those aren't necessarily keto. Okay, vitamin D is really important for your respiratory system. Uh, again, we're back at the, what is happening here with COVID. I think you guys have probably heard me say over and over again that people who are deficient in vitamin D are more vulnerable to this virus. Uh, I've done a ton of videos on it. The, the most recent research is 15 times more susceptible to COVID if your vitamin D levels are low. There's only really three ways to get vitamin D, the sun, supplementation, or food. And here are the foods. Wild caught salmon, sardines, beef liver, that keeps showing up, eggs, mushrooms, and raw milk. So again, it's, on the, it's in your companion guide. And the last vitamin that I want to bring to your attention is vitamin E. This really powers up your T cells. And vitamin E is in a lot of the oils. So those of you that are fans of Andrea's seed oils, it's a cold pressed seed oil. And in sunflower seed oil, this is the compressed version. It's not the inflammatory version. So remember that oftentimes we can look at big picture items like sunflower seed oil and go, oh, I should get rid of all of it. It is a harmful fat. But if you compress it, you cold press it like Andrea's seed oils, you absolutely get the nu nutrition and the benefit of it without the inflammatory effect. So if that's new to you, just put um, seed oils in the comments and we'll give you a link on where you can go order that. So seed oils, almonds, we're back at the nuts. So raw almonds, hazelnuts, back at butternut squash, avocados, broccolis, broccoli, and kiwi. There are these key foods that we need to lean into and match with our fasting lifestyle. And the purpose for this week is to have you guys mimic that study that I showed. If this is new to you, go back and watch it. The study that I showed that we can intermittent fast, we can use MCT oil to build our ketogenic pathway, and then we need to eat nutritious food. And the foods that I just mentioned are part of that nutritious food plan. What I'm seeing with a lot of people that go keto is that they're really cutting out nature's foods like the ones that I just talked about. And that's not the name of the immunity game. The name of the immunity game is pair your fasting with really good quality food. And the purpose today, the purpose of the video, this video is to give you an idea on how to do that. So if you want the companion guide, it's there for you. It's free. Just put companion guide in the uh, comments and my team will come in and get that for you. And as always, you're a miracle. You are a flipping miracle. And when you pair fasting with great eating, you're going to learn just how miraculous you are. Hope that helps.